I want to talk about the blood sacrifice. Hallelujah. The sacrifice of the blood. The sacrifice that opened for us this way. Which had been closed and took a ruby with flaming sword saying, well, if you come, I'll slaughter you. That kind of thing. Now open. And God is rolling it out to you people. Hallelujah. This is a powerful thing, beloved people. So now, it is so powerful because in that engagement, you hear confession of sin. Oh, it is the woman. Oh, it's the serpent. You know, that, that confession was so powerful because immediately after that, then you see Genesis 3.21. The Lord God made garments of skin for Adam and his wife and clothed them. We can even stop right there. Now, when they confess sin, they agree they have sinned. If you go back to Genesis 3, 7 and 8 and all that, how they were hiding and so forth, God walking the cool of the day, God reaching out to his fallen children. Once they now confess their sin, then you see Genesis 3, 21. There was a case. A case was presented in the higher courts. The highest court. The higher chambers of justice. And you know who the judge is, right? Jehovah Hashofet, right? The judge. In the, the higher chambers of justice of heaven, upper chambers, there was a case that was prosecuted against sin. And when the case was being prosecuted against sin, the writings of the judgment said, the Lord is holy. And when you read further on, it says, and the wages of sin is death. And when you read further on, then you find an appendix, an addendum added. Where at that moment, Christ Jesus, the Messiah, walked right straight and lifted his, head, his hand like this and said, However, for the family of God, I pay the surety. <laughs> Hallelujah. Akasema amelipa tayari. Amelipa. Hallelujah. The salvation we profess. And so from that point on, if you read now further the writings of God up there, it says the following. It says, therefore, for anybody that believes in Christ Jesus as Lord and takes him and takes this wonderful covenant of the blood, which we are talking about now, of the cross, of the grace. He said, for them now, a substitute death has occurred. Ah, but, but no, 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 focus on me now. Do you remember the judgment says the wages of sin is death? It did not change. He's simply saying the death, the type of death. Either you pay it yourself or a lamb, a perfect lamb of God dies for you. <laughs> That's why in Egypt, when the angel came, every house he saw the blood in you. Apana, here, he said, no, here, death has already occurred. The wages of sin has happened here. So he jumped, meaning a substitute death has occurred. They had not killed an animal. Adam and Eve were vegetarian, eating vegetable. At this point, they have not slaughtered. You can't say they killed to eat. They have not worshipped. There was no worship of the blood. But when sin has come, isn't it powerful that the first death which fulfills the wages of sin is death is actually the perfect lamb of God slaughtered for you over there. 321. That became the installation of the sacrifice of the blood. He installed it. From that point on, we began to worship the blood.